What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and I am a cybersecurity professional as well as a college student at WGU, currently majoring in network operations and security. So I started my first time at WGU July, 20, July 1st, uh, 2021, which is the year we're currently in. And today is August the 1st, uh, 2021, and I just passed my fourth class to complete the term, which is which was the ITIL uh, version four foundations exam. And so with that, I have completed my first term in 30 days, um, although the term is not complete, but I've completed all the classes required for my first term in the first 30 days of, of me starting. And so pretty excited um, that I was able to start my program with WGU and I've been able to uh, complete as many classes I'm able to complete these many classes in the span of one month, which is exactly 30 days, because between July 1st and August 1st, that's exactly one month. And so just a quick experience with my uh, final class, which was the ITO uh, 4 Foundations class. So this class was, um, it's an easy class, but it's very, very boring, like really, really, really boring, um, especially if like you're not, like your thing is not really like management or um, uh, service management, all that stuff. It's really boring. Um, that was really the only difficult thing about this class. But in my opinion, uh, it's a class you can definitely get done within two or three days um, of studying. Um, but I'll, I'll be providing all the resources that I use for this class. So this class took me about a week, a little over a week. Yeah, it's about 10 days to complete because I completed my last class on the 21st of July, and today is the 1st of August, so it took me about 9, 10 days to complete this class, uh, simply because it was just really, really boring. Like I couldn't just bring myself to just sit down and study for this class, like, I would just like fall asleep <laughs> while I was studying. But um, some resources I used um, were, uh, number one resource I used was Jason Dion's um, course. Um, on Udemy. So the thing about that course is it's not actually complete. It's actually a six hour course So if you take the course, you're not essentially getting the full thing because ITIL has this um, uh, Rule whereby if you're providing a course for the exam, then you have to provide it with a voucher So the full course is actually on Jason Dion's website for about three hundred and something dollars um, and I wasn't like willing to like spend the money on the course plus WG already provides you a voucher, so it wouldn't make sense to like buy a course with a voucher. So I was like, what is the best way to study for this class um, that would be beneficial for me and also not require me spending me any require me spending too much money? So I did Jason Dion's course, which like I said is incomplete, but it gives you a, a, a great start to the exam. And then there's this other course on, 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 on YouTube that I found. Actually, there are several other courses courses on YouTube, but this particular one I found um, by, I totally forgot the name of the channel. Let's find that real quick. Okay, so it's by Value Insights, Value Insights, I, Agile and ITIL Training Partner. So the, yeah, the channel is called Value Insights. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description below. Um, but they have they have a really really good ITIL playlist that covers everything you really need to understand for the exam. Um, it was a really really good course. I watched it like three or four times over and over again, um, and just like made notes of like the important things because the main thing about this ITIL exam is a lot of terminologies. Uh, you know like value, consumer, consumers, utility, warranty, um, understanding like the four dimensions, understanding change management, problem management, incident management, uh, service uh, service desk, service level agreements, several service, service service requirements, all of that stuff. You j j once you are able to understand the uh, the terminologies and everything surrounding the terminologies, it's easier to kind of understand what's going on. And it, a lot of it is really really common sense. But it's just really really boring <laughs> really 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 boring um but it's it's a great exam regardless to kind of have a different perspective of how it works in an organization um, especially if you've been working in it or are going to start working in it really soon given that you probably are you know in wgu taking this exam so hopefully you find your first it job soon 
Um, yeah, so if you're going to be working in IT, apart from like the technical a- technical aspect that you'll be involved in, it gives you a, a different perspective uh, from like a combination of uh, how that technical aspect you're involved in provides value to the organization as well as the consumer, consumers um, in the organization. So like, and the organization can be anything. It could be, uh, you know, the the people that are working, The pe- uh, it, it's really any uh, subset of, I guess, you know, wherever you're working at, I, I really don't know how to explain it, but I know what I am saying. I think I know what I'm saying. I understand it in my head, but I just don't know how to put it in words. But um, yeah, it's just really understanding like all of the, the core concepts that are in the exam. And that YouTube course actually provides everything you need. Um, and yeah, and then another resource I used, which um, was highly recommended, is this app um, by uh, the I, by ITO itself, um, I think it's the company, the actual parent company is Alexis or something like that. Um, but it's it's called the ITO Four Foundation app, um, and this is what it looks like. Let me show you right now for my phone. Yeah, so this is what the app looks like. Focus, focus. All right, there we go. So that's the app, um, and it costs about seven ninety nine, so about eight dollars on the Apple Store. Um, I think it's a really great app. I didn't actually, I barely used it. Like I, I underutilized the app, um, but it would have been a really great resource because it has like two sections. So one section um, has like study. So the great thing about that study section is that it kind of brings all of the concepts of the exam into like the story format and then relates that story. And, and the story is kind of like a, in an organizational set, setting. So it's like, it, it, it relates those terminologies into that story format and helps you understand the concepts uh, better. And it also has a practice section where you can take like practice exams and stuff like that. So highly recommend it. Um, definitely check it out if you're not someone like me who gets you know who got super bored of it and you know, quit it after a while. But I did find value. Um, I was like halfway through the um, study section, um, and then the other resource I used was Jason Dion's. Uh, practice exams. So he has about six of them. I only used two out of the, those practice exams. And they give you a good um, perspective of what you should expect in the ITEL exam. So definitely, I, I recommend checking those um, practice exams out. Um, they definitely will help you get an understanding of what you should expect in the exam. So the exam is one hour, uh, f- and you are, you ha- you're going to have 40 questions, and you're required to get at least 26 out of those 40 questions right if I'm not mistaken so it's not a, a really hard exam you know just, just put your mind to it and just like get it over with that's the thing it just once you put your mind to it just study for it and get it over with you know and don't like let yourself get tired and bored like I did so it took me 10 days to complete the exam but altogether, um, it was totally it was it was good it was good and I'm glad I'm done with it um, I'm gonna take one week off from classes and everything um, and just uh, recuperate because last month was very 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 crazy um, it was a lot of things I had to do last month but um, I'm just going to take a, 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 a break for like this first week of August and you know uh, get ready for the next lap uh, of, of acceler- accelerating for the rest of the term so I'm looking at taking some uh, more classes during the rest of the term I've not really decided how I want to do it I really want to get all of my um, general education classes done and dusted and at the same time I also want to get like the cloud certification so the AWS uh, practitioner and the sysops administrator um, but I guess it really depends on you know whatever however it is and I'm definitely going to talk it over with my program mentor and kind of figure out the right strategy for the rest of the term but it's been a really fun um, ride so far this is this is my first 30 days um, and I'm super excited for the rest of the of the term Looking forward to how far I can get um, in the first of a term. Um, I still have a set goal to finish by December 2022. So I think I'm 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 a, I'm a time I'm a time for it. But um, all of that aside, that's been my experience with uh, my first 30 days at WGU as well as my first term so far. And I will be updating you guys as things go um, with as I take more classes and you know continue continue through the program. But I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and once again, I'll leave all the links to the resources I used in the description below. So be sure to check it out. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. 
and also join uh, my discord server Star Wars Academy I will leave a link to it in the description as well um, but yeah thank you guys very much for watching the video I will see you in the next video